the waters of the south coast of England had more fish than you may think. From Langston Harbour in Hampshire, dozens of small boats travel out to sea in search of the big ones. Eastley Cruising Association run a compound and launch site for sea fishermen. And one of their top anglers is Wayne Combin, who amazingly manages to launch his 17-foot boat Tarin single-handedly. Running it down the concrete slipway and straight into Langston Harbour. The target species today would be a search for the powerful blonde ray and this huge flat fish lives out in incredibly powerful tides some 17 miles offshore. First you have to catch your bait and this can be a mackerel. They generally catch them around the wreck of the Dean Tail Boy. The wreck itself rises about 30 feet off the seabed. It's a favourite fishing spot. One of the most famous marks off the Isle of Wight is the Nab Tower, a wartime structure used by many sea anglers as a fishing mark. But we're going to the Overfalls, and that's outside of the Nab, and it seems almost off the edge of the planet in a small boat. Nice flat calm day, but this time Wayne's brought us out to what's called the Overfalls, and the first boat of the day is a small tote, so at least we're in the right spot. The tide's fairly ripping, you can see by the uh, current here. And I've got a small tote there. I'm contemplating it might be a big bass, but it's a tote. Apparently you get quite a few tope out here. The biggest one I think I heard of is further inshore last year. It was over 80 pounds. So fish like this, good sport, but not an 80 pounder. But we're hopeful we're going to get to show you this blonde ray. Let's get this fella back. So here we are, another boat just gone past. Yeah, another boat, a charter boat, following the famous Wayne Common around. <laughs> he's on a nice big fish. We think it might be a ray, it's in the tide. And he's had it on about, what, 15 minutes? About that. Here comes we the one. We think we've got a fish on, on the other one. Nice I'll just let it sit in the tide. And I've locked my reel up as much as I dare. I mean, this braid is pinging. I had a bit of a pull initially. And since then, it hasn't really fought. A charter boat is impressed, Wayne. He's just over there to the back of you. <laughs> he saw that bend of the rod and dropped his anchor straight away. Well, I suppose if he's got playing customers on board and he goes past this, then... Uh, They're going to want to know why he's not stopping. Yeah. It's a fish, though. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, certainly a fish, all right. You can see the tide absolutely barreling past the, the stern. It's like a river. It's got to be doing... Well, not far for three knots, I should think. I mean, some, I think something is very likely to give. Yeah, I'll try and unclip that lead. That's a nice ray, Wayne. Is that not bad, does it? No, it looks, looks a good ray. I'm going to lean forward and see if I can get that lead off for you. But, uh, it doesn't look a, a bad fish. It's not tiny, but it's not huge. There you go, it looks uh, around about the 20 mark, I imagine. Yeah, it looks at least... Uh, Nice little one. 20. This will be about 25 maybe. That's a better size fish. Yeah, oh, I'll get those gloves for you, Wayne. He's, he's got the squid in his mouth, and we don't want the hook pinging out. Oh, it's an easier 20. Easy, I think. That was a big fish that last one, Wayne. Yeah, it was, a, it was about 25. Hold it. Oh, there we go. Pretty female fish. Fortunately, not a. Uh, you know, well, very well hooked. Lovely, just whiting them, whiting the scissors there, so. Good fish, yeah. We'll get her back quickly, quick as yeah. we can, I'm not gonna bother whiting her. Okay there, we've got a nice blonde there, she's about 20. And a female for sure, mostly hooked. Yeah, out here in the Overfalls area, there's a lot of banks that come up, and you could probably just make them out where the current pours up and over the top of them. Right, to give you some sort of idea, what these overfall sandbanks are like. I'm over here in Ireland where we dig live sandals and it's a similar situation. 
it'll be able to show you exactly how these undulating banks of gravel um, at the back end of these, this is where you need to get your bait, this is where the fish is. So imagine with these humps, which you can see sweeping up, you know this is higher, you know that's lower because the water's settled here. The banks come up and go over and up and over in a series of great big, you know, bands of them, three and four and five long. So what happens is the sandals, if the tide is coming this way, are swimming like this. The live sandals are swimming into the current. They're going to be really low down here, swimming through the water. Now they don't burrow in the top end of the sandbank because that has been compacted by the pressure of the tide. The gravel there is very hard. They like to go in the loose gravel. The loosest gravel for them to dig into is at the back end or down tide side of the hump. So they're going to swim in here and then they're going to dig their way and wiggle in here underneath the sand this side. So when they do get washed out or they emerge, the bass, the blonde rays, all the predators are sitting right back here at the back end of the overfalls or of any sandbank and they're going to come up and as these wiggle up and start fighting in the tide, whoosh, bam, they're going to grab them. So it's going to come over here. See, this is all lovely sort of fluffy gravel. Whereas further up here on the hump, even a little bit, is really hard. So there's a tip. If you're fishing the overfalls or any of these gravel banks for turbot, blomberry, that type of thing, bass, try and work out so you anchor up tide and let your bait bounce back, bounce back, bounce back until it's just on the back edge of that hump and you should be in with a shot. I've taken Wayne's tip and I've, I've just tipped off with squid. Put some squid on and it's been out about 10 minutes. It's a good fish, I don't know what it is, but I guess it's a, it's a ray, it's a blonde ray. But Wayne's been getting the bites on, on the squid. I've been using the launch just on its own. And other than that one tote, nothing. I'll put the squid on this, fingers crossed. You're going to need braid line. We'll get to show you another one. To cut through that strong tide flow and keep your bait hard on the seabed. Yeah, watch out of a loose hook in there as well, Wayne. No problem, no problem. That's in a double, isn't it? Double yeah, figure yeah, easy. Yeah, it looks another 20. I've got that loose hook away. Lovely, lovely. lovely. In you come, my oh, beauty. No, oh, quite, oh. Not, quite, not, quite. Okay, chickens. Now she's coming in. Oh, even though. Yeah. Uh, slippery down gloves. I've not got a good grip, but there we go. Oh yeah, nice fish. Yeah, that's a good twin. Nice fish, yeah. Grab a picture of that one, get it straight back and get a bigger one. Oh, there's a bit of weight there, Wayne. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Rome Ray. But they've got a huge mouth. <sighs> Look how far that mouth extends out there. So they must be quite an aggressive feeder, I should think. I'm going to say I've not caught a lot of them, but I haven't, but... There's a lot of weight there, Wayne. Yeah, they're thick fish and uh, a good female. She, I say she's, she's easily 20. Yeah, that's um, a good fish, yeah. I'm not going to weigh them because... Uh, no, no, we get them straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it, unless it's sort of a... Uh, uh, unless it's touching 30, I'm not going to weigh it. Right, in the water, recovery and person as well, look. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, there, well, there you go, there you go. That's another one. I'll just rest them here for a minute. Lovely mark as well. And these go... Over 30, isn't it the record, a British record? Oh yes, yeah, I, think, I think the record might even be 40, but... Um, That's a big fish. I know there's, uh, there's, certainly been, there's certainly been high 30s caught in this area. So... Uh, Beautiful, away you go. Lovely job. And don't think you'll get an easy ride out there with these fish. They use that huge body area to plane against the strong tides. It's very much a case of strong tackle or no tackle. Is it Ray, is it, Wayne? Yeah, oh yes, yeah, sorry, it uh, looks like a blonde. It's just come up on the server, it's not huge. I say it come up quite, there's a bit of time running, you come up fairly easily, so uh, I just see him on the surface over there now. Coming in quite easily. There's another blonde. Okay, well we got another blonde then, and uh, we've only just dropped down, no more than about 15 minutes. There was a boat anchored uh, a little bit further along, and he, he up sticks and left, and anchored uh, on the bank we were just on, which I don't understand, because the way the tide's running, 
he was in the right spot and now he's, he's sort of fishing on the top of the bank which is uh, probably not ideal but who knows anyway it's a nice fish again good 20 isn't it mate? yeah yeah I'd say so good 20 hook well and where it goes is it nearly not quite not quite good God. they're all pretty big fish as well Big ledge, you've got to use big ledge on it, unfortunately, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. There we go. Beautiful looking fish. Look at the markings on that. Still got all the spikes along their tail. But good scrappers, they're not like the uh, sloppy old things I used to catch some in Ireland. They didn't really fight at all, but these are really good scrappers, these, these rays. And they got the tide with them as well. Oh, I've got another one. He's number eight. I wish he wasn't in a way. And he's back there in the tide, just planing away. And this is a 30 pound Conaflex rod. I mean, I caught striped marlin on it, but in this current, it's just unbelievable trying to get these fish back. I've got, I'll show you. The drag's up here. It's on the, well, it's gone past the stop. It's, just, it's on the limit now. It's coming slowly. If there's a snap, you'll see me spiral backwards through the frame. <laughs> and a one and a half pound lead hit me in the teeth. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, this is a, a, a 4.1 tide, which is about as big as you'd ever wish to anchor here, because uh, you can see what it's running through like. We've had some blinding fishing today, absolutely blinding. Can you believe this is the 11th blond we've got? And it's another real cracker, if I get it in. It's like fishing in a river. Got him. One thing you want to watch is these big heavy leads can smack you in the, in the face. If you're pulling them in like this, they could go at any time. We might what a magnificent species. The blonde rays of the overfalls, and all within easy reach of a small boat. Now that's totally awesome fishing is the way forward.